Hello little morsels and welcome to the stream. I'm Tamar Pigeon, but you guys can call me Pidge. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Uh, Skull's going to be joining me and we're going to just kick it, kick back and enjoy with a little bit of Phasmo. Yeah, we just oh, had yeah. it, so it's my question of the day is, do you have any questions for us? And Deus hasn't said, in regards to your question of the day, are you in school planning on doing a Q&A for your paranormal investigation stuff? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. We'll have to sort it out one of the days we'll if you'd like. If you'd like something like that. But the, <laughs> the risk with doing Q&As when you're a small streamer and a small content creator is that you start a stream for a Q&A and nobody asks you a question. <laughs> Your whole stream is supposed to be a Q&A and no one asks you a question. That's all a little awkward. Richard Garcia. Richard! Right, okay. Oh god, prevent the ghost from hunting. I forgot we were doing this. Sorry, I'm not There's a storeroom! I've got a little step to build. Box with an interesting logo. Looks like a Ubisoft logo, but upside down. Not sure if that's what he was going for. I have to have. <laughs> Excuse me. I just have to hope that uh, I don't get lost because although I generally don't get lost woo, on uh, <laughs> on asylum anymore. It's uh, not out the rounds of possibility down here because um, I don't normally come down here. I'm just coming in every room because I don't know where the Ouija board is if it's down here because, you know. I don't ever come down here, guys. Oh. Skull, I found a Ouija board. Bring it to the entrance. Uh, I would, but I'd have to drop my torch uh, or my candle. So I'll come grab it in a minute. I found the ghost. It's right near the entrance. <laughs> okay. I didn't get lost. Woo! I finally managed to find my way around this map just when he's about to consider changing it. Consider changing it. <laughs> right. We had freezing temperatures. First things, said. Yeah, freezing temperatures. First things first, let me show you where I got the first piece of effort. Well, the first activity was I heard a door open and got an EMF 2 off it. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, you probably <coughs> can hear back. the dirty water over. You can yeah. hear the dirty water over to our right. So if you just come in here, this was the door I got the EMF 2 off. And we have freezing and, temperatures. And we have freezing temperatures. Now, before I got freezing temperatures, I put this equipment in here, thinking it's the room. Then I heard the dirty water. And the dirty water's quite a ways away. Follow me. What? I'll tell you in what have you seen? I'll tell you in a minute. You're okay. Gonna love it. And here we have dirty water over here. Huh. So, and I got freezing temperatures out here as well. <laughs> so, oh, welcome same. to the really, and there's freezing temperatures still here. Welcome to the really long hallway where this ghost resides. Let good luck finding this damn thing, because this hallway goes all the way around the back here as well. Skull. See what's on the wall? Light switches. No. Yeah. Right, this is a hand sanitizer thing, yeah? Do you remember yeah. our most haunted versus taps? We could pretend it's an air <laughs> freshener. Oh god. So I've I've put equipment in that room. I suggest we move it out of the room and into the hallway and perhaps cover more of the hallways with more of equipment. Okay, well I am going to get that um What you call it? Yeah, you're going to go get the photos. You're going to yes. go get the photos? But what I will do Got is it. I will put a book down for you as well because I have a free hand. One Ouija board. 
Lovely. I was thinking, do you want me to ask the Ouija board what the ghost's favourite room is? Just because it might narrow this down a bit. I mean, I think, I think, I think it's just going to tell you the hallway, and that's really not going to narrow it down. <laughs> well, let me, let me just give it Truthfully, a go. Truthfully, give it a go if you want. What is your favourite room? Goodbye. Uh, actually, it said the lobby is its favourite room, which would be this entrance bit, wouldn't it? Do you have any equipment yes. in the lobby? No. <laughs> I'll put a camera in there. Because I got the freezing temperatures in the hallway behind it. Well, this will be an easy one to set up. Let me just go full long. You might want to take some sanity pills. Oh yes, I used the most one, didn't I? Be a ghost event. I don't have the can. camera. I came here to take pictures and I forgot the camera and it showed itself. Alex. Oh. Ah. Oh. You're going to need sanity pills again, I'm guessing. It was, I will, but it wasn't haunting me. It was actually haunting you because I was really close to it. Oh no, it was too me. Yep, it was haunting you, not me. School, this is going to be a really, really hard one. Should we? Oh, I don't even think motion sensors are going to help. <laughs> Sound sensors, fine. Yeah, you didn't bring any. <laughs> Bitch, I am not standing for your sass, Richard. God damn it. Richie boy, I'm not standing for your sass. I've got freezing temperatures all the way down to the left now on this corridor. Oh man. School, this is impossible, man. I just reminded myself of my friend then. <laughs> That's my friend's response to most things. Like if she hears something shocking, if she, you know, gets shocked by something or surprised by something. Oh! <laughs> I'm channeling my inner friend. So just to put it into perspective for you guys, this is just that bit that you can see there. This ghost could be anywhere in this entire park. It's that weird bloody hallway that's like in a figure of eight either side of the lobby way. And like we're getting activity all over the place, but no evidence. I'm not well, this getting looks like an EMF 5 to me. Too high, I think. I mean, it could be. I'm not saying it's not, but I think that's a bit too high. Because we may have to go off guesswork. I mean, I smudged as well. I think we still just haven't found the gold room. I think your earlier thought was correct. I think we're just going to have to go in the cameras. 
Let's see if we can spot all. Uh, you may want to. You may want to take some sanity bills for getting close to. Mucky schmucky. Just set off the motion sensor over here. That motion sensor just went off in front of you. Yeah, copy that. Okay, it's freezing here, minus 11 it went then. Doing that, by the way. It's freezing right around here. Right Do you hear that? Moment. It's freezing over here. At I the just moment. heard a light go on down here. Yep, yeah, down here. There's a light on in this room. I didn't put it on. It is quite far down this hallway now. But it just moved this door. Because it turned a light on, moved the door. And all the freezing temperatures are up here. And this can't be right. Which one is this? We've seen how the Oh, we got here. ghost writing. We got ghost writing here. Thank you. That's useful. Table. Yeah, it's just turned another light on or off. So if gin or raise you were an option. They're not. Ah. Demon, revenant or shade. Oh great! Two really bad ones and one that's not so bad. I'll start on the left and make my way towards you. Do you want to start on the right and make your way towards me? Hey, that made no sense to me then. It was my left because I was walking away. Okay, so I'm on the right of the desk, the door at the right. Do you want to start on the door on the left and we'll just make our way towards each other? Are we going into the lobby or just round the corridor? Round the back of the corridor. Okay, I've moved back a little bit just to cover more of the hallway. Ready when you are. Let's do this. And it's out. <laughs> I covered a lot of this all the way down here. Still didn't get it. Well, we tried. We can at least get the average sanity below 25%. And get some pictures. Did you get a picture of the book before you start? Yeah, I did. How old are you? Apparently he's 49. What's your favourite room? Left corridor is what he's going to say, isn't it? Yeah. I smudged there, bastard. Where are you? What was your light moving? You're at zero. You want to start asking? Um. 
Did either of us ask it anything then? I think it was still finishing up whatever your question was. Where are you? Day room. Where the fuck is the day room? What? And there's more than one apparently. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay, well, we've got all our interaction photos at least. We've got the average sanity one. So it's a shade, yeah? Yeah. Come on up top. Come on, you motherfucker! motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, those crucifixes didn't help. And there is no point rearranging those, bro. Like, <laughs> oh god, no, not a chance. Well, I've got it in my book. We've got a full book of three star pictures. Let's just get out of here. There are, I've got to be honest, Skull, do you know what I was going through these bloopers? Most of them are really dirty. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with us on the forest, but there's some sexed up bloopers, right? Uh, I don't even know why. But they are. Well, you just, you just do, it's not a bloopers reel, it's a triple X reel. I think I'm going to call it the forest after dark. But to show you what I'm on about, this particular blooper I've called Whacking My Wood. It's as bad as it sounds. Don't mind me, I'm just playing with my wood. Surprising how hard you have to whack your wood to get anything out of it. <laughs> yeah, you just want to go to bed, but you can't until it's, you know. Until you fully whacked it. <laughs> slap it on the table, slap it in the wardrobe, then Duh, you're good to go. Can you come and whack Whoa. my wood with me? Because I'm not getting anywhere and I need some help. I'm nowhere. I'm a pro. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's what you guys can expect. There's <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> and me blowing the guys up. I blew the guys up. Not in a sexy way. That was a really bad time to say that. With dynamite. I blew them up with dynamite, okay? But there are some non sex up ones like this. Jordan, are you trying to set a rock on fire? I don't know. I can't get out of my hand. It won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there are some good funny bloopers coming up uh, for the forest. Oh, we should have stuck this on professional. Skull, let's get out and come back. Yeah, we'll just do it on amateur. You sure? I was just thinking of the dollar. Yeah. Um, salt, candle, EMF, these are pretty easy. EMF, these are pretty easy. Barbara White! Me and school were doing this map the other day, uh, like a, a few weeks ago, and um, <laughs> we got a Jennifer White. And if we're right, I, I don't want to give a Jennifer, but if we were right at the time, we believed it was Jennifer. We uh, <laughs> we stood around the table and reenacted uh, the infamous Jennifer White around the table scene. Honestly, if you guys haven't watched Jacksepticeye. Lord Minion and Moist Gurman Mark by a play this game yet. What are you doing with your life? Like? If you enjoy watching people play this game, that was a light from that. Honestly, guys, you're not going to be disappointed, I swear to you. It's hilarious. Make sure you watch the first episode. It is. Oh, it's, it's hilarious. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. An object thrown in the basement. Copy that. Wiki board's down here too. Okay, sorry, I was just checking MF5. the... Cool. MF5. I was just checking the carpet in the living room because my reticle went white and I thought I might have stumbled across the bones. And... No, I found the bone down here too. Oh, okay. Well, there's no point me being up there then, is there? Right. right, bone is a jaw. Alright, here. Man. 
Alright, I'm taking the reach towards the front door. door. Uh, I'll follow you with the reach button. Don't yeah. need my EMF because uh, you've already got that. You? No, you don't really. I just had the uh, EMF and the camera, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the back of Got the bone picture, we can get more pictures. Always the little third test of requirement. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm gonna take a candle down there because it can take a while to get to the other ghost. I'm gonna take a camera and a book. Yeah, okay, well, I've got my picture camera on me because I brought it up to take a picture of the Ouija board. Oh, there's a ghost in the back of the house. Yeah, there's a ghost. Not seeing any orbs currently. Blow it, my candle. Picture cameras at the top of the stairs. What else do you need me to get, bro? We're gonna need dots. I've got a spirit box as well. Good idea. Go see if this ghost wants to chat. I'm like, where did he put the camera? Not seeing any orbs. Where's the camera, bro? Oh, there it is. Just put it in the middle of the. put it a bit further back. Perfect. Where are you? Are you here? How old are you? What do you want? Attack. Where are you? Next you? How old are you? Old. Oh. What do you want? Hurt. Yeah, we got spirit box. Coffee. I think I saw In the dots as, as well. well. Yeah, I think I saw dots, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to confirm. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, I think I saw. I saw something, but it could have just been that mist that gives you the ghost event. But I think I saw dots. Right, well, we've got that and spirit box. So it's a spirit wraith of the twins. So can it be dots? Oh, it, is, it can be dots, and that will be a wraith. So we can test that with salt. So it's ghostwriting, freezing temps, or dots. They are dots. Been down there a bit it. with the thermometer. Definitely dots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we just need to stick some salt down to um, get the salt objective now. And then get pictures of the Ouija board doing its thing. Uh, did you bring salt? Did you bring salt? Oh, don't tell me I didn't bring salt. I didn't bring salt. Oh. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Let's get some pictures. Uh, I've got a camera. How many you got on that one? Three. Skull. I'll Stop. go first. I am admiring your telekinesis. That camera's not even in your hand. Teach me, senpai. Neither is yours. <laughs> you're, you're also doing it as well. Where are you? Thank you, Dave. That's in the comments. Thank you. How old are you? How old are you? How many people did you kill? I can't take any pictures, by the way, because you're in the live board. Sorry, I didn't even take a... How old are you? How old are you? Your turn. Okay, okay. Am I insane? 
you don't talk to me, huh? What do you want? Oh, <laughs> no, apparently you don't. Apparently that's a question. Do you want to talk to me? Uh, where are you? <laughs> I thought you were in there then. Is it actually hunting? Yeah, yeah, it's hunting. Well, no! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to hunt. <laughs> Chilling. Kira laughing through the door. I'm surprised I actually managed to get out because, like, for a second I thought it was just skull shutting the door. Is that her trying to open the door then? That was me. I almost got myself killed because of hubris because I was like, haha, skull. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's interesting. How sane am I? What's my sanity? How many of you are there? How many of you are there? We asked that question the other day. How old are you? Whee! You bitch. She got it in for me. Barbara White. <laughs> How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Done it. Okay, I'm done. I almost died again, but I did it. I had my laugh through Skull's mic then, and I sounded scarier than the fucking ghost. EMF, crucifix, salt. Joseph Brown. Joey! I brought salt this time. I brought salt this time. I'm still Yay! missing parabolic microphone. Because that's expensive. I own the only one. I think you can have two. Where's the power? In the garage. Garage. Oh, it's, it's a garage. I should be taking a gander. Still here, though. I'll get the power up. Oh, what the fuck? Through it. <laughs> Dang it. Copy that, done. sorry, I had a, I had a candle crisis. I, I'm all good now. So, now we go. Bone, right here. Ooh, you know I love a good bone. Where? Where's right here? Where's right here? Oh, here. Right here. You walked over it already. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna check the basement for a Ouija board. Found a Ouija board. Oh, for fuck's sake. Leave some for the rest of us ways to find it. I didn't realise it could spawn over here. Yeah, I didn't know we could spawn here. But there we go. Uh, do you want to grab that bro and I'll get this uh, voodoo doll? There's a voodoo doll over here that I haven't got. Oh, just took a little parkour over the bed as you do. Yeah, that whole possessed voodoo doll thing, tortured voodoo doll, that that sounds pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Where's by the door? Ghost. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to the basement oh. and see. I look forward to joining you at some point. Day assassin, do you have to be such a ball buster? If it was that easy to mod and play at the same time, I would not need mods. I'm defending you, Holofat. It doesn't mean that you're my favourite mod. 
because I'm not allowed to I did indeed. Because I'm not allowed favourites. But on this occasion I am defending you. That's me, sorry. I think I just had a candle blown out in the garage. Copy that. It's okay, Pidgeot won't take me. Living room? Freezing temperatures in the living room. Is that the TV I hear? Yeah, it was an EMF. It was an EMF of two. Okay, I'll use the trunk there. And I'll put a light in right. there as well. Move the TV remote. And the TV pops that on the sofa. Picture okay, camera by the welcome mat. I'm going to get. You've got cake! Skull. They assassin has cake. Yes. What? Exactly. exactly. He's holding it. He hasn't it on brought it. me in, eh? Well, you know what, Day Assassin? Fuck you. Because it was my husband's birthday the other day, and he's got cake as well. And I bet his cake's better than your cake! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, his cake is epic. And my friend made. Um, she makes cakes, and she doesn't. I think I've told you guys this before, that she doesn't do it as a profession. But she is so good at them. And she made him a D20. You know the D&D &D dice? A D20? It's a, it's a isohedron, right bro? 20 sided shape? Isohedron? Think so. uh, no. No. I can't remember what it is. A 10 sided shape is a decahedron. Yeah, no, a 20 sided. A 20 sided shape. Yeah, 20-sided would be a do-decahedron. Do-decahedron? Yes. That seems right. Where did you put this camera, bro, so I can put the dots there? Where did you I haven't placed the camera yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just stick it here, then. Yeah, she made, um... She made a D20, okay. anyway. And the D20 is actually a 3D shape. It's a 3D D20. It's amazing. And she like shaded it and everything because it's all like it's green with gold and it's all coloured and it's oh. We'll have to see if I can show you guys a picture, it's incredible. Where are you? Oh. Spirit box! <laughs> oh, door. Confirmed freezing temps. <laughs> it's an Ornia or the twins, apparently. So yeah, we have some, and it's chocolate. It's a chocolate cake, and her chocolate cake is very oh, yummy. That's pretty good. But as you can tell, I'm quite excited about it. Quite excited about it. It's EMF five or orbs. Copy that. Sorry, it's the old bait that has the big difference. I said Ornio earlier in the stream. Well, it said it was away on the spirit box, so maybe it's changed ghost rooms? No, it's still that same room, because you got a response. It just wasn't near you in the room. Okay. I'm going to put another camera looking at in towards this camera, just in case they're, like, hovering over this camera or something. I can't see Orbs, that is. Yeah, probably a good idea. idea. Guys, I'm about to get a little x rated for a second because I saw something on Facebook earlier that just made me wonder what the fuck is going on with the world. There was something someone had shared. It was a post of a, uh, like a, a screenshot of a post from the, um, you know, the, the Facebook marketplace. And it was a foot flesh lamp. Now, if you know what one of those I is, beg your pardon? yeah, you you will understand how bizarre that is. Now, I am all for each to their own and kinks and stuff, but what freaked me out about it wasn't that it was a foot and it was a flashlight. The foot. Uh, five. Copy that. 
the foot looked real. Like, whoever made this thing made it look real. And that disturbed me on a very deep level. Icosahedron. That's why I was thinking uh, isohedron or whatever I said. Yeah, icosahedron. Thank you, Deus Axum. You just looked that up, didn't you? Because you were jealous. You wanted to see. Skull, do you want me to bring some salt in and see if we can get some uh, footprint pictures whilst we're in there? I've already got the salt and the UV. If you want to bring a UV glow stick and a camera. <laughs> Deus Axum's like, no. Right, okay, I've got the cameras and a glow stick. I don't have a torch though, so let's see. That. There's a candle for you. Thank you. Let me just, let me just, uh... Alright, yeah. so if we put one over here then. Put another salt down behind you. Then, oh. Then, oh! Could you bring a UV over here, bro? UV over here, bro? It's back a bit. There's one on the floor just here. I can't see it. There we go. Oh, this way. Oh, back. Back, back. Back a bit more. Like, towards me. Move the door. It's gone, it's gone. You missed it. You missed it. It's gone. I was lighting it from my view, it's just, you know, torch physics. Yeah, it's probably best we stand near each other so that we, the torch pretty much aims where I would see it. We could just uh, use the Ouija board and get photos. Can fit. What was the other objectives? Prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix? I've already got crucifixes in there. Where are you? But if, if it hunts from the other room... Hi. That was just goes to them. That's not. <laughs> he didn't hunt from in here. No. He's not Maybe. close by. He hunt. So this is the twins. Because we've got all the evidence now. It's the twins. So and I think the other one's in the basement. You know. I'm sure I heard something get thrown like down in the basement. Here he is now. More pictures. How old are you? How many of you are there? Uh, how many of you are there? Ask What's your favourite room? Are. How many ghosts are there? How many ghosts are there? What is your favourite room? How old are you? That's all the pictures, bro. Yeah, we're good, bro. We can go. Didn't, didn't need you. Didn't need your lighter. Didn't need your lighter at all. Oh, fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have I got it? Yep, I got it. Good. Twins. <laughs> nah, but it felt like it. <laughs> Mike? Mike, as in Michael, would you like Michael, to, uh, you to uh, do the thing where you do the thing and join the thing? 
Join us. Join us. Join us, Michael. We summon him. Summon the Michael. It's fine, dude. As long as you don't mind, like, not being able to talk to us, you can still come join us. Uh, yeah, I suppose if you need to contact us, you'll either need to talk through the chat or possibly, I don't know, Steam. do some lassie-like lassie, lassie, lassie -like movements. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Michael? Is it over there, boy? Uh, it's Timmy down the well again. <laughs> Leave him down there. <laughs> yeah, you just join us, dude. We'll, we'll go on a amateur farmhead. I'll lassie it up. <laughs> it's going to lassie it. Right, um, my word, it's raining out there. There's some thunder on this one. Handle, prevent the hunt with a crucifix and walk through salt. Patricia Jones. Damn it. Uh, Michael, if you take a flashlight from the right, because these are the strong ones, the black ones, the one, the silver ones are weak. That's it. Uh... Don't oh, forget, okay. you can drop items with G you don't want. There's the thing. I'm, I'm going to take a candle in with a lighter. Okay, remember it is on amateur. Um, Michael, do you want to take an EMF dude? Because obviously you can use that. You're not going to be able to use spirit box. Yeah. I grabbed one of those. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Michael. It's so funny watching you nodding. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? I figured it couldn't hurt. Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? Well, it was worth a try. Copy that. It's only a three I'm getting. I'll leave one EMF here. Please let it be the bathroom. I'm so sick of hallway ghosts. This is what me and school were saying. Candle just got blown out. I'm going to leave the lighter next to the Roger. This is what we were saying at the start of the stream about like the um at the minute you seem to be getting a lot of hallway ghosts and because he's got it you know it, it's able to change rooms and stuff it's actually really irritating yeah, we're still going off to three. copy that i found the bone copy Where are you? Maybe you take a number? Yeah, uh, we got that. Oh. Are you here? Spirit box in that bathroom. It's close, I heard. And it's just touched the door. Right in the book. Are you doing okay, Michael? Just tap your radio twice for yes. Yeah, he's <laughs> nodding. Yeah. I don't know if you heard, but we've got spirit box food. Skull, did you say you had evidence as well, or is it just a spirit box? Just a spirit box. I was getting an EMF reading, but it wasn't very high. Copy. Um, I'm 
I'm going to stick a crucifix in there next so it just threw something. I'm going to take a torch up as well, a UV torch. Oh, you've yeah, got a UV. Michael's got UV, so I'll take the crucifix. You want to okay. come back in, Michael? We'll see if we've got fingerprints on that door. Let's shine it on that door, dude, and see if we've got any. Not on this side, how about the other side? I did put a book in there. You see any? Uh, the window, maybe? I'm going to bring in salt and a crucifix. You guys have got UV and a camera, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a crucifix as well. There's nothing on the in the book, and I'm not seeing... Uh, me and my client seeing any fingerprints. Uh, where have you put the crucifix? Just by the dots here. I should put this one in this corner. Okay. Um. Oh, is that another door? No, that was here. Oh, window. Window. Oh, and again. Check the windows. Oh, and again. He's knocking the windows a lot. Do you want to check this one, Michael? It's only an EMF two. On the off chance. Anything? No. Unfortunately, there's a rug in this room, and I can't help that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um. I'll just leave the salt here if you guys want to put another one down somewhere. Um, yeah. I'm going to go check the cameras and such. Where was that door? Was it this door? Want to check this one? Nah. nah. We've got old. Ah, okay, copy that. It's a yokai! Uh, let's head back to the van. I'll say you spread the salt around. Oh, we got the salt. Excuse me. Just what were the other objectives and stuff? Prevents you from hunting with a crucifix, eh? Okay. We're gonna go in and hide and see if we can get the prevent hunting with a crucifix. Do you wanna join us or you wanna wait here? Did you find a Ouija board anyway? I didn't know. If you wanna join us, follow me, I'll show you where you can hide and be safe. Michael and I are going to hide in those lockers by the uh, workbench and stuff, okay bro? We should be safe over here. You can either join me or you can go in the other one. <laughs> Good for you. Just click and hold to open the door. There you go. Make sure you close the door as well, mate. And drop any electronic equipment you hold in, turn off your torch. Because the ghost can sense it and it will come towards it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Michael, you stuck? I don't know why I radioed you. You were right there. Well, that is my current jam at the minute. Evanescence is one of Evanescence's new songs off the album, Far From Heaven. Oh, it's a beautiful song. She wrote it about her brother Robbie. He died, unfortunately. He had quite a severe epilepsy and he died a couple of years ago whilst they were doing their synthesis tour. But it's, it's a it's a heart wrenching song, but it's amazing. I love it. Okay, <clears throat> has everybody got it in their books? I do. I remembered that the yokai gets pissed off when you talk, so I started singing. <laughs> you've got yeah, you've got yokai in your book. Brilliant. Dots, ghost orbs, spirit box. So let's let's get out of here. Successful mission. We didn't kill Michael. <laughs> Yay! Michael's going to level up. Victory now! <laughs> oh. Easy boy. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. It's not harmless, they're never harmless. We're looking for regions on the Paramount, guys. Was that one of you guys closing the door? Skull, there are lights on on the left hand side of here. I just turned the lights on for everybody from the main hall one. Oh, okay, thank you. You know, we haven't had a miling in a while. I still haven't heard the miling talk through the paramount. It's like something the miling can do. And I've seen people get readings of like 20 to 90 on the paramount. I've never had anything higher than a 6, I don't think. I had a 9.6, but I think that was the power tripping. Are you here? Well, we got... We got the EMF, apparently. Okay. I had the EMF reader. I've got some readings. Is it possible that you were hearing that stuff being thrown and it was downstairs? It could be possible, however, I think it was on the same level. Okay, okay. I think it's in here. Yeah, definitely freezing temps. Right, I'll get some equipment. Let's get equipment then. Uh, if you've got anything useful, just drop it in here. Oh, he's, your light, your candle went out then. Press F, there you go. And then it's F to place you the can, candle. Yeah, if you want to place it down. Okay. 
Well, we know it's freezing temps. We know it's freezing temps. And we know where it is, finally. We're gonna need a few cameras to cover that room. Yep, agreed. So I'm gonna take two, I think. I'll put one on the tripod and one on the tripod and one on the table. Uh. Michael, do you, do you want to grab a camera as well? We're probably going to need three, so one each. You don't have to put one on the tripod? Because it's a big room, guys. It's a big, big room. Yeah, you ever had that where you get a headache and it's like someone just like, fucking popped you on the head? So that's what it feels like. Someone just be whacked on the head. Uh, this bit. My husband just yawned and scared the crap out of me. Try and make sure there's camera placements. I've got one in this corner, one in this corner, in this bit. Which corner? The one on the left by the door, and then I've got one here, on the stool, covering this bit. So we need to put on one the over side here. Oh, I went through that door. <laughs> I'm the ghost. It's a twist. Flip me on the head. Do 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably put another one in as well. Drop it with G, Mike. So I've got that one. It automatically turns it on. Pretty good. Not too bad either. So we've got one there, one across the other side looking to there. My one there. And then one there. I'm just going to place one last camera and then I'm going to put a drop stair. I've got a book in here, I'm going to get probably more dots. <laughs> I just hear Michael flicking his lighter. This is the one place that didn't really seem to be covered. It's just sort of this way. The only place that didn't really seem to have coverage. I'm put that box there. That's the problem with big rooms. It's the same. Coming in with a crucifix and another camera. Copy that. It's the same in real life. Like the IR of the camera can only see so far and it like bounces off stuff in order to be able to reflect and see so uh, Michael you can uh, yeah take a crucifix in dude is that a camera in that room camera in there? Skull, there's actually a camera in that room as well. It's in a pre-placed one. Oh yeah. Just trying to get an EMF on a door maybe.
when you guys leave, can you just turn the lights off, please? See how it's like pitch black in there now? MS5. Copy that. Gin shade only the twins. Fingerprints. Ghost writing. Dots. Spirit box. It can't be orbs, but it can be dots. We are right next to you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I shall try a spirit box. Okie dokie. It does tell you in the book who it responds to because it's being professional. Uh, people who are alone. Well, oh, sounds is good. Uh, maybe take a UV in as well. And it's gone. Uh, tell just because fingerprints. <laughs> fingerprints! Tell me what to do. I'm going to the door, I got the MF5 from. It was a suggestion. <laughs> oh god, sorry guys. Honestly, it feels like someone punched me in the head. Wait. Oh. It's a beautiful vantage point to watch him die from. <laughs> it's just you guys can't see that, but Michael's just nodding in the corner of the screen. <laughs> I'm not seeing any dark. Power. Well. Killing the power, it likely is in a gin. We just yeeted it out of the room. Did he get something? Did something scare you then? That's alright, on the camera you just look like you probably puffed it out of there. I keep hearing doors being played with and I'm trying to get fingerprints as well as spirit. But we so rarely do asylum. Copy that. Did you get anything? Negative. Neither fingerprints nor spirit box. Yeah, I haven't seen any dots. Have you seen any dots, Michael? Yeah, neither of us saw any dots. Perhaps put another dots in there. Oh, Did you just turn the power back on? Yeah, and then turned it off again. Or at least the lights in the room. The power was off. The breaker was off. Like, I tried to switch the lights on myself and they didn't turn on. Can it... Isn't it only the gin that can turn the power breaker back on? Uh, I think all of them can, randomly. I'm going to put another... Um, dot... What, what are we looking for? What were the other two? Dots and book. Uh, dots, fingerprints... And ghost. Yeah, so we checked fingerprints, we checked spirit box, I didn't get anything. Writing. So, more dots and ghostwriting. You can go with him if you want, Michael. You don't have to stay here, dude. <sighs> These big rooms, man. Pain in the ass. Oh. 
Oh, excuse me. The ghost is still here because we've got freezing temperatures. Yeah, I can see it on the camera. I can hear dirty water. There is a room in that room. Just to your right, there's a door. It might be in there. There's a picture camera on that table. We dumped all of our original stuff in if you want to get the dirty water and the ghost writing. It's a shade. It's a shade, baby! Oh gosh, everything just cracked. <laughs> I have so much work to do tomorrow, guys. So much. <laughs> Michael's just looking at me randomly. <laughs> I'm making funny noises. I'm stretching. Sanity below 25%. Well, I guess I'm just going to go sit by the door then. I'm going to sit just inside the uh, asylum bro to try and get this uh, sanity drop in front with the grease fix thing. Can we get the other grease fix in first? Sure, I didn't realise there was only one in there. Michael's come in with it. These boxes shall protect me. I shall be safe. <gasps> Behind these ankle high boxes. Guys, looking forward to Gears of War tomorrow. I am. If I remember correctly, we're about halfway through the game because the first Gears of War was not a very long game. I think we're about halfway through. Pictures, pictures, pictures. What is you taking pictures of, friend? Hmm, interaction. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm pretty sure at the end of this game we worried a brew mark. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure we did. Not the end of Phasma. <laughs> That's what you get for completing Asylum. You get to ride a brew mark. No, I'm pretty sure uh, at the end of this first Gears of War. That's when you ride the broom arc. <sighs> I'm pretty sure. I don't understand why the sound alerts thing isn't working. Just go and put that on. Uh, no, Dizzy. I'm pretty sure you see Dizzy in Gears of War 2. 
because in Gears of War 2 you ride his rig, don't you? What's her name? Bessie, is it? You ride his rig. Betty. I think it's Betty. Till um, the drill spot where you have to drill down into the ground. Drill down into the ground. So I'm sure that's when you meet Dippy. And then of course he's our submarine captain or pilot. Well, if you know which one it would be for a submarine. In um, Gears of War 3. Oh jeez. Oh, this is what I, I hate about doing objectives on Asylum. It just takes so long to do end of the game on Asylum. That's why we don't play it very often. Now in theory it's a really good map, but which one are you playing at the moment? Gears of War One. And obviously we get introduced to Jace in... I think we get introduced to Jace in Gears of War 2 because he's pre he's predominantly in Gears of War 3 but in Gears of War 2 I'm sure he's one of the people who drives the Junkers for us when you're doing the ice bit, I think. Um, and then Ice-T voices a character in Gears of War 2. Are you, are you sure the entrance is the best place to hide? Try and lower your sound thing. Why wouldn't it be? Because they might come to the entrance and kill you. Yeah, fine. No, I think I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I, I'm gonna pick another room. Probably um, the bathroom near the entrance. Yeah, I was gonna move over there, but. I'm right behind the thing, I don't think it's going to see me where I am. Sanity is taking a hell of a long time to drop though, I should check the map. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to be doing all of them, one, two, three, judgement, four, five, they're all up on Game Pass, so as long as they stay up on Game Pass, I'll be doing them. And they haven't long been put on Game Pass either, so... Skull, where was this light switch for the lobby? I'm just wondering if it's keeping my sanity up. Oh no, I remember. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's there. Uh... I'm gonna go hide in the bathroom over here. Bye! Bye! Lots of cubicles over here. Judgment never happened. <laughs> Like I said, I love the story of Judgment. I just don't like the gameplay. The gameplay is odd. <laughs> One, two, three. Judgment never happened. Four, five. <laughs> and of course, we'll be getting a Gears of War 6 soon to round off this story arc. I don't know if they're going to stop at 6 or not. Part of me feels like they should stop at 6 because I'm not sure how much further they can explore it, but. If you know the story, then I feel like if they decide to carry on after six, they maybe should go back to like the beginning of the Locust and how Mira was formed and stuff. So that we, because you, you kind of do that in Shadow of Rom, but it'd be interesting to do like a proper seek, like trilogy of games exploring how Locust suddenly came about. Or maybe doing the Pendulum Wars, where it was like a civil war and there were no locusts at that time. Yeah, I think 2 is not my least favourite, but... <sighs> I remember 2 being one that... 
Meh. I felt like two was a bit drawn out. Although, of course, without giving away any spoilers, there are some some heartbreaking moments in two. But they haven't remade two graphically like they did with one. So when we start playing Gears War 2, the graphics will take a bit of a dive. But I don't really care. Like, I enjoy a pretty game. Like, you know, you load into like Red Dead and you're like, look at how beautiful it is. Especially the horses. I love how gorgeous the horses are in Red Dead. But graphics don't make or break a game for me. It's kind of like, you know? It's the game that I enjoy. If the game is good, then I'm fine. I don't mind. Do you know what? I've never played Halo. I, I've, well, I say I've never played it. Like, I had a little play around on an ex boyfriend's <laughs> Halo. That sounds weird. Um, like, but it was doing stupid stuff, like driving a truck. I can't remember if you drove it onto the truck or you drove it up onto the cliff and then you blew it up with a rocket launcher and it would just go ah baby and it would like go all weird and funny but uh yeah I've not like actually played it but played it yeah I, I don't like games that are too taxing if I'm honest I like stuff that's a bit easier it's why like I was watching Markiplier playing Dead Space as obviously as you guys know we've had issues with Dead Space um, and it's bugginess and not running properly and I wanted to see like what, what happens in the story and um, he played one on normal and then he played the second one, I'm currently watching play the second one and say guys was that ghost talking actual words whilst it was hunting something about terrorise me where are you help me I don't want to stay it's like all the stuff that's written in the lobby in the UV writing that's freaky that's new I haven't heard that before. And we've played a lot of Phasmo since the update. Oh god, I felt like someone stabbed me in the nose with a pin. What the fuck is going on? Mm. But yeah, uh, he he's he played the second one. He's on. Um,
sanity. Skull, we're only on 45% average sanity. Like, this is taking forever. We're probably not going to get the crucifix. Do you just want to? Should we just leave? If you want. Well, it's up to you, dude. Support me. Support me. But yeah, so he's playing that on like uh, Zealot or something. I think it is. It's one of the harder difficulties, and um, the the reason he does that is because he says he likes a challenge, he likes games that really challenge him and blah blah. I see I'm different to that. I'd rather play the games I'd on easy because I like easy. to take in the story more than I'm after the challenge of the game. The that makes sense. Game. That makes sense. Okay, do we all have shade in our book? Fuck Alicia, fuck Alicia. Fuck Alicia. Fuck Alicia. Yeah, that was weird. I've never heard yeah, this before. Yeah, I have heard it. Not in a game, I don't. Welcome back. I'm yeah, I'm glad you agree, Michael. I, I, I'd rather have the story than it be super hard. What were you saying, Skull? You've heard it, but not in a game. I said I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it in game yet. Yeah, like I've heard the singing and the crying and the laughing when they're hunting, but yeah, never heard them. That was that was freaky. <laughs> that was some freaky shit. <sighs> right, guys, it's gonna say bye bye. It spooked me. I'm not surprised. I was sat there like. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I've got to go because I've got to go to bed and get. I've got work tomorrow. Yeah, I suddenly like I feel like someone's punched me in the side of the head or something. I've got a banging headache all of a sudden and stuff, so I'm gonna go as well. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. <laughs> get your get your mic sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Good games, Skull, and I'll. Uh, uh, thank you for you. thank you for the games, guys. Thank you for the games, and I shall see you both. I'm sure very soon. Yes. Have a good night. <laughs> Muggle said he'll work on his mic. Yes, thank you so much, Oliver. Welcome I'm back. glad you've had a good time. I've had fun. We're going to go look for someone to go raid and raid. And then we're going to... Uh, we're going to pop off. We're going to pop off. <laughs> GG's. So, we have... Ooh, I tell you what, <laughs> let's change it up yeah. entirely and let's go and watch Cheat play some mini golf. He's playing walkabout mini golf. <laughs> let's go do that. So yes, tomorrow, more Gears of War. And Thursday night, I'll do Neverwinter Thursday night for you guys as I did Phasmo tonight. Because I do, I do enjoy playing it. Just it's like Skull said to me, and it's a little uninspiring at times. Is the only thing. Why not? <laughs> so as always, I tell you what. No, actually, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. I'll raid him this way because I'm sick of having to try and say my goodbyes to you lot. And. Uh, it cuts me off when I do it the other way. There we go. So take care, everybody. And uh, thank you for joining us. And I'll see you soon. Bye.